Okay, another big project going on today. We got the, you know, we built this pond behind us and over on this ed, edge over in, over in through here was a bunch of old fill material that I trucked in over the years and just dumped there because it was just a drop off and built all this up with all that old fill material it had some really crappy stuff in it. Well, when we built the pond over here, we got a real nice dam. Our dam's holding real good. But uh, the water's leaching. There's some water leaching through that old fill material up there. So, project today. Got to gonna dig this up. I'm not going to dig the dam up, but we're going to try to find where it's coming through and put a clay plug in it. So, see this is where the... Water's leaching out, coming out through here. You know, this is all fill material. If you remember watching my pond videos, So this is the weak spot, this is where the water is running out, and we're going to try to stop this. So we got to start here. See what we can do. One sixty C case. I think when he gets further up in there, he's going to dig this way. Also, we got a good bit of clay down here. Stockpile, we can put back in there. a lot of water running out. I think this probably here, this stuff here was probably backed up in this here and hadn't got a chance to come out yet. For you guys that uh, just new with us, haven't got a chance to see our pond. This is a pond we built. Got a quite a few, few videos I made on a playlist on my channel that shows us actually building the pond. And, there's a second trash pond way on up there that we built also. It turned out pretty nice. We're pretty happy with it. It's about uh, 90 feet wide and around 200 feet long. And right here in front of us, about 13 feet deep. No fish in it yet, can. But uh, Carl wants to make this repair first. I, he said he got a few other things he wants to do before he stocks it with fish. So. Let you watch him dig here a little bit. He, uh, Carl watched the video on Let's Dig 18, where the guy, that guy, did the same, had the same problem, and this is uh, this is how he made the repairs. So I had a nice, nice yard here. I had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, across this was a complete absolute wreck before we started building this pond down in here you couldn't even get get into it uh, what a mess if you watched my of those videos of us uh, working out you saw this old mess here this is what it turned out so Oh, it'll get fixed back up. Just take a while. So, a lot going on today. We got our, got our concrete being poured up there at the, at the garage apron. We've got this going on. I've been uh,
got 100 bales of hay we got to pick up tonight. So this is going to be a busy day. Got mine. All right, conference. We'll be back. Okay, everything from the bucket way back to me. We dug down and have filled this all in with clay now going over here some water coming down through there so hopefully we got this water stopped now I don't know how in the world that thing got in there goodness gracious That must have been buried from a long time ago. That's a pretty deep hole there. We're down below the water line. Or the bottom of the pond, I mean. I we'll have to fill all this with good clay. I got a bunch of clay down here. I've been trucking clay up here all morning. This is my, uh, this is the, uh, 13th load I brought up here and there's there's gonna be that much more fill all this in with clay all I said all this is clay and we packed it really good with the bucket and wow a lot of dirt a lot of mess big mess okay Cover. There used to be a pond here a long time ago. I gotta get to hauling dirt. Catch you later. This is a pretty cool shot. I'm hanging off the side of the bed here. I probably hauled this probably be about my 30th load of clay up there today. We about got we got the repair made. We just got uh, about a trench 20 feet by four feet deep to fill in. So it's touch and go there for a minute. Had to dig a lot of crap out. <laughs> Glad to get this done. We're fine. We got severe storms uh, coming our way here soon. So fighting the weather too. Alrighty, time for me to go dump. About a week and a half later from the last video we made here. Uh, this, uh, I put our plug in right through here and this is all packed full of really good clay. This is uh, all the stuff that we dug out here. Some, uh, so this is all gonna have to get 
haul out of here sometime. I don't know when. It's no big deal where it's at. We'll just, uh, whatever we get time, we'll uh, have to get her hauled out. So, so many other things to do. But you remember this was leaking down here and we did not fix our problem. So, back to the drawing board. We're, uh, I'm, I'm standing right now over top of where the, where the uh, dam is, where the good clay is too in here. So I think, I think maybe we're going to have to, the, we, we think the water's seeping in over here. Remember this up here was all filled where that rock was. I got dug out of there. Um, so it's seeping in here and it's coming around here and it's falling that plug down and going down, in, down into there. So I think we're going to have to maybe come in here at an angle like this. Maybe, uh, I'm thinking maybe we ought to drain about four or five feet of water out of here, pump some water out, and come in here, get into this good clay right here on this dam, and dig down and fill this. We had the we had a, had a mess there uh, when we was doing this because we was under the gun. They was calling for severe storms that night, and. I only had so much clay stockpiled right right down here below the barn and uh, kept me busy hauling clay up here to fill this in. So we're out of clay, good clay down here. I got more clay stockpiled, but it's about uh, eight miles from here. So we'll have to start trucking that in and see what we're going to do here. We're uh, going to have to review our options of what we can do. It's not seeping real bad. I just uh, don't like it. Uh, I don't think anything in this dam is uh, any any source of concern. There's a lot of clay in here, awful lot. So that's where we're at. Thought I'd finish this story up, and of course we got to bring topsoil. Uh, we got a lot to do yet. Bring some topsoil in here, see, get rid of all the cleaning, all this up, smooth it all up, seed it all down and decide what we're gonna do with here. You guys saw that big pipe uh, Carl pulled out there. That was the guy that owned this. I bought this farm in 1977 and the guy that owned it before me had a backhoe and he dug all kind of holes all over the place. So it, that had to be where that uh, big pipe, I don't know what he was doing with it, but uh, <laughs> the stuff that we, we dug out here had been buried for a long long time who knows how long uh, okay plus the the fill i said i had up in here all right a beautiful day here in southwestern pennsylvania we're at 90 degrees i've been uh, doing some work this morning cutting grass and i'm going to head up to the house and sit in the air conditioning for a while take a nice nap okay thank you very much for watching and that's the end of our story for here. It's going to be a while, long time before we can get back and get to this. Uh, don't know when it's going to happen. So thank you again for watching.